Hello everyone, this is Mike, and in this video we're going to go over a few things. Uh, first thing is, the most important is the SCR Uno manual has been updated, which I'm going to show you right now. If you go to scrplay.com, click on Downloads, and right here on the right hand side on the documentation it says SCR Uno User Manual. Uh, you can click that and download it, and uh, basically a lot of things have changed. We added a uh, pictures for all the descriptions as you scroll down I believe it is about 85 pictures added uh, highlighting all the important things and how to use a lot of the features in SDR Uno as you can see so definitely check that out and download it uh, another thing is to check the blog section of SDRplay.com uh, John posts updates here of everything that's going on in the world of SDR Play and it's really really good a lot of information here so you definitely want to check that out and now we're going to go over how to use the noise reduction feature in SDR Uno in uh, AM broadcast sideband uh, basically in HF that's my frequency of interest personally that's what I like to explore so I'm going to launch SDR Uno and show you how I do it so we can pick uh, the RSP1 or the RSP2 Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. It doesn't really matter. So we'll go with the RSP1. Wait for that to load. And of course, give yourself some offset between the tune and the yellow. So just click a little bit off before you hit play. And we're going to start. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mute this. This way you guys don't have to hear static. So let's uh, lower the volume over here. And let's try to find some transmissions. All right, we got one over here. I don't know what it is, but we'll check it out. All right, that's a Stanag signal, uh, 4285, I believe. All right, let's go up the band. The conditions are horrible lately, so just bear with me. I'm going to try to find something that's halfway decent. Okay, here's something that's rather weak. Let's see how our gain is. We're okay over here. Now, the noise reduction in SDR Uno is right over here. It says NR noise reduction. And the slider to control the amount of noise reduction is right over here. So let's enable it. And you notice a lot of the white noise goes away and you, you don't want to listen to white noise for prolonged periods of time it causes a lot of listening fatigue on the ears so you can just enable a noise reduction or you can tighten the filter a little bit I have it at 8k drop it down to 6 and enable the noise reduction and then the slider how much and, and how little you want to apply Let's find another signal. As I said, uh, band conditions have been horrible. Okay, here's a decent one. 6K wide looks good. Noise reduction. It's a little bit muffled, but we don't have the white noise, so make it a little bit less and then you also have the AM soft filter so make sure you're in the AM mode and you can apply that and then adjust it here however high or low you want to make it so there's a big difference between using a noise reduction and not using it as you can hear the the heavy white noise hiss in the background all right, let's uh, see how that noise reduction works on sideband signals. Uh, what time is it? It's 2.07 Eastern Standard Time. Let's see if uh, any activity on 40 meters. Nothing. Let's check 20. All right, we got, uh, I think that's a CW signal right over there. Here and here. Oh, we have somebody over here. All right, let's get them tuned in. We'll zoom in a bit.
And there's nothing. It was there and then he disappeared. Alright, let's check uh, 80 meters. We'll go back to uh, 20. Apologies for the lack of signals. Okay, there's one over here. It's very weak. It's probably uh, coming in from Europe. Right now is not the best of time for DX, but we'll we'll stick around and see what happens. So basically, what I'm doing is I'm I'm waiting for a, a sideband signal to come in, so this is why I can show you the difference between using the noise reduction and not using it on these sideband signals. And what I actually should do is calibrate the RSP. And we'll do that in another video. I'll show you how to calibrate against WWV. Okay, now let's uh, enable the noise reduction. And that sounds like, uh, sounds like Harper. That's a fellow ham operator I've worked many times. Now you can see as we apply the noise reduction and increase it, it definitely does make a difference in the background noise and it actually makes the signal a little, a little bit more intelligible and my location is uh, New York City and this is Harper I forgot what his call is but he's in Northern Ireland and it is 2 o'clock in the afternoon Eastern Standard Time here in New York City. And as I said, band conditions are terrible. But we can hear them. So that's with the noise reduction off. And that's with it on. And that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. 7 threes, and thank you so much for watching.